My name is Riley Gibbons and I'm covering 1920s to 1960s. My name is Sapna, I'm covering 1960s to 1980. My name is Megan Yee and I'm covering 1980s to 1990. My name is Habiba and I'm covering 1990 to 2000. Hi, my name is Kristen Zuniga and the era that I will be discussing is between 2000 and current. The right of women to vote had initially been an issue in Philadelphia at the drawing up of the original Constitution of the United States. At that time, the responsibility was shunted off to the 13 states to decide and was promptly forgotten. But ladies like Mrs. Carrie Chapman Catt refused to let the issue lie. What sort of jobs can we do? Take a look, mister. X-ray technicians, inspectors of army meat, teachers schooling our soldiers, wax or classification experts, assignment interviewers. How capable do you feel yourself of handling any business emergency? I think I'd be able to manage most any emergency. Then you consider yourself a pretty efficient executive? Yes, I think so. Why, Miss Bates? Well, I suppose it's because I feel I can make decisions fairly easily and, uh, well, make them for others and tell them what to do. His liberation and the end of his loneliness and the end of this sea of hostility that has been, you know, preventing love in this country and that has been dehumanizing sex and making such loneliness and such alienation, frustration for everyone, that he will welcome a woman who can come out from behind that simpering, you know, mask of ruffles that hides so much rage and impotent rage and co unnecessary covert manipulativeness and welcome the woman that can come out of that mask of wrestles and ruffles and rage and be a person and, and be a joyous woman because she really feels like she's somebody. And then you see, we'll both be able to make love, not war. In conclusion, this era was significant because of its impact on pushing forward women's equality. Griselda Blanco, the first and biggest female cocaine trafficker in the United States. She is known as the Black Widow, the Queen of Cocaine, La Madrina, the Godmother. The women's rights movement made significant strides in the 1970s and took a prominent role within society. Blanco is a prime example of a woman using her power at her disposal. During the 1980s, women began having more job opportunities. They began to move into professional and managerial jobs, it now being possible to have positions that were above men. Magazines and advertisements started showing more women working in offices and alongside men. However, there was a distinct amount of women who still worked in low-pay jobs. During this time, the saying that a man's job is to earn money, a woman's job is to look after the home and family, began to change, now being that both the man and woman should contribute to the household income. A woman could now both be working while still able to do domestic tasks. However, Sometimes this wasn't the easiest for everyone to understand. An example of this is shown in a clip from The Cosby Show, with lawyer and wife Claire Huxable informing a young man about this. How you doing, Alvin? Hi, Dr. Huxable. How are you? Thanks for letting me in. It's okay. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Huxable. Hello, Alvin. Is Sandra ready? Well, uh, not yet, but she'll be down a little while. Would you and Dr. Huxable like some coffee? Coffee? Yeah, coffee. You mean you're going to get it? Yes? You're surprised? I'm sorry, Mrs. Huxtable. I didn't think you did that kind of thing. What kind of thing? You know, serve. Serve whom? S serve him. Oh, serve him! As in serve your man? Well, yeah. Let me tell you something, Elvis. <laughs> you see, I am not serving Dr. Huxtable, okay? Okay. That's the kind of thing that goes on in a restaurant. Now, I'm going to bring him a cup of coffee, just like he brought me a cup of coffee this morning. And that young man is what marriage is made of. It is give and take 50-50. And if you don't get it together and drop these macho attitudes, you are never going to have anybody bringing you anything, anywhere, anyplace, anytime, ever. <laughs> now, what would you like in your coffee? As the 90s dawned, thanks for looking up for women. Daughters of secondary feminism came of age and chose new paths unavailable to their mothers. Delaying marriage and children, pursuing higher education, 
joining the workforce and assuming independence and identities outside of the home. For more than a century, the average age for marriage for women swung between 20 and 22, but in 1990 it nearly jumped to 24 and by 1997 it reached 25. A report in 1995 by the National Center for Education Statistics declared that the gaps between men and women in education have essentially disappeared for the younger generation. Almost half of married women surveyed in 1995 reported earning half or more of their total family income, leading the study's sponsor to declare women are the new providers. The 90s saw the first women attorney journal. Secretary of State, President of Ivy League Institution and CEO of Fortune 100 Company. More women won political office than ever before in 1992, the year of the women, when their number in Senate tripled. Cultural feminism and 90s made strides as well. The girl power movement promised that the progress for women would trickle down to girls too. Girl culture was reclaimed and celebrated by sassy magazine websites like GURL.com, government initiatives, subversive feminist musicians, and independent films. To kick off the 2000s, we have Condoleezza Rice in 2005, who became the first African-American woman to be appointed Secretary of State. In 2007, we have Nancy Pelosi, who becomes the first female Speaker of House of Representatives. She states, An historic moment for the women of America. Today, we have broken the marble ceiling, which we will see towards the end. In 2010, more than three quarters of working moms worked outside their home. On average, women now make almost 75% as much as men in their 20s actually earn in some metropolitan areas. And lastly, we have Hillary Clinton, who ran for president against Barack Obama. She lost. However, she did win more presidential primaries than any other woman candidate in American history. There's been a lot of achievements for the women in the 2000s. However, we're not quite done, uh, so we are still making way.